What's happening with fellow geeks on the internet? I'm Tian, and today I'm coming at you with another video. This time I've got a, another video finally. I know it's been a while and I do apologize about that, but I have been busy with university this year as this is my last year, as well as working on top of that. So I haven't had a lot of time to really sit down and work on too many customs. I mean, I have worked on stuff here and there, but just haven't been able to get anywhere enough to show you guys anything. Uh, but with that being said, I do have these two custom minifigure Ahsokas here today. We have Ahsoka from Seasons 1 to 3, as well as the Siege of Mandalore Ahsoka, both from uh, Bagel Studios, which I believe is based here in Australia. And I am just received this one today, actually, and I'm really happy to review these for you guys. So that being said, let's go ahead and begin this review. So first up, of course, this is the early seasons Ahsoka minifigure, and I was really blown away by this minifigure, as most of uh, the minifigures we see on Bagel Studios is the 3D renders. I may have not seen a lot of his in-hand stuff, or I think I saw one in-hand photo of this minifigure, but to be honest, I kind of forgot about this minifigure for a while as I pre-ordered it ages ago when it first came out. Uh, so... Yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised by both this and the Season 7 Ahsoka, and yeah. Now, if I just remove the lightsaber here, <coughs> um, the Ahsoka minifigures doesn't come with the lightsabers. This was just a big Kid Bricks lightsaber I had lying around and decided to give it to Ahsoka, obviously. Uh, but yeah, and I do want to apologize about this display stand. Uh, it's just something I have to quickly throw together. But yeah, so it's a really cool minifigure. Um, it's printed on all four sides and yeah so the headpiece is the lego official headpiece um which is absolutely perfect for this ahsoka minifigure the head is printed as well uh you've got this really cool stern facial expression with the markings as well and then on the back you've got a bit of a grin i think this suits this ahsoka a lot better than uh the stern expression then the stern facial expression, I just, I don't know, when I picture the early season Ahsoka, I just imagine a, a smile or a grin or something. Um, but yeah. Then if I remove this on the torso, you can see you got all the details there. There's something I noticed on the torso, and I thought it was pretty cool. So, Bagel's studio added these little curves onto the minifigures, like with the black here. Like what Lego usually does to show on their female minifigures. But I thought it was kind of cool that he also added a bit of black coming up to the top here to kind of show that she's a bit skinnier of a character. And I thought that was pretty cool. I'd never seen that before. Um, but yeah. So you've got her belt there as well and the pouch and the little food capsules. You've got her magenta like uh, bit that hangs down in front of her leggings. And then you've got the side of the boot details. You've got her gauntlets with the communicator. And then on the back, just a continuation as well and it's absolutely an awesome minifigure and of course this uses the mid legs as well um which is really cool i don't have many of these um i not i don't really collect the harry potter lego minifigures so i think this is like the third time i've ever gotten the mid legs so yeah it was really cool so that's pretty much it for this soka minifigure really cool minifigure um i really want to get the um Season 3 and 4 Ahsoka minifigure when that comes out again, like when he restocks on them, um, to add to the collection. And I also really hope he does the spacesuit Ahsoka, as I reckon that'll be really cool. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the Seasons 1 to 3 Ahsoka. Now let's move on to the Season 7 Ahsoka. So here we have the Season 7 Ahsoka minifigure. Now this is actually the one I received today, actually. Um, I ordered it a couple of weeks ago, and it just arrived today. And again, it's another incredible minifigure by Bagel Studios. Really glad I got this one. The Season 7 Ahsoka outfit is probably my favorite look for the character. Um, as Siege of Mandalore is my favorite arc of the Clone Wars series. Um, I just thought that was like just incredible, that whole arc. Now, I actually binged Clone Wars for the first time last year. Um, get gearing up to watch season seven as I really wanted to watch it but I wanted to see the rest of the series first as I've seen it on TV from time to time when I was growing up but I never watched the full thing like I just saw some here and there but um yeah again big kid bricks um lightsabers as well just moving them but yeah I uh, really fell in love with the character of Ahsoka she's become one of my favorite Star Wars characters behind Luke Skywalker 
And yeah, I'm just really glad to have this minifigure. Uh, so starting off with the headpiece again. Again, it is the regular Lego headpiece, and that's all right. I mean, it kind of fits because it's still fairly short. On a circus, not like the Rebels long um, head tails piece. But um, I will be changing this out soon. After watching MGF's vlog uh, last week, where he had the knockoff circus, I did actually order a few of those knockoff season seven of circus myself, and I will be upgrading this figure to have the knockoff. Season 7 uh, headpiece, just to uh, add to this figure a little bit more, just to make it the best Ahsoka minifigure um, in my collection. So, yeah, pretty good for now, and, um, you know, there's nothing against using this headpiece, I just want to take this figure a little bit further. So, I will probably do a video on that when I do get the uh, knockoff Ahsoka minifigures. So, again, another incredibly printed uh, face, which at, uh, matches... Ahsoka from the show, you can kind of tell it's a little bit older on an expression, so you can tell she's grown up a little bit more, which I really like. So if I grip this Ahsoka back in, you can kind of see that uh, it's... I don't know, I just think Bagel Studios has done a really good job to kind of show... Um, I mean, that's more of a, um innocent face, I guess, but I don't know. I just think this one really shows that she's grown up a bit more. Um, and then you got a bit of a smirk as well. So, yeah, pretty cool face. Um, again, the um, torso is just printed onto the Lego dark blue torso with all the details. You've got the belt, the waist cape that, which comes down. You've got the bit of the dress on the sides of the minifigures. You've got the, the dress bits that comes around. You've got the lightsaber clips, and they're printed onto black legs. You've got the details on the back as well, so it just continues on. And uh, you've got the gauntlets right there. Now the hands I will probably change out to just regular orange hands. Um, the black hands are fine. I kind of get where he was going to, you know, with the fingerless gloves or something. But I don't know I'll probably change them out to uh, regular orange hands or go to Eclipse Graphics and get their printed finger, like fingerless gloves hands, but like in orange uh, for this minifigure. So I will probably um, update this minifigure in the future just to um you know just a little bit more just take that step further then uh, you got the boots printed on you got the back of the boots and then on top of the feet you can see that there's some printed detail then on inside the legs just not really printed but i mean not one's really going to see in there anyway but uh yeah really cool minifigure Really happy I got this minifigure. So if I turn the head around again. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this Soka minifigure. So let's go ahead and wrap up this uh, short review. Also, just in case anyone was wondering, this is what the Bagel Studios uh, Ahsoka minifigure looks like with the Firestar to Toys custom head. I mean, it works, I reckon. Um, but honestly, I'm not going to display it with this. Uh, I mean, it's still a good head. Firestar Toys head, and I do plan on using him for my own customer Soka minifigures from the Clone Wars. But, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the Bagel Studios uh, Soka head as well. Uh, because I, I just think it works for the uh, minifigures really well. And again, here's the Season 7 Soka minifigure with the Firestar Toys head. Again, still a pretty cool head, and I will be using it. Uh, Firestar Toys head on my Ahsoka minifigures when I eventually get up to the Clone Wars in my Star Wars project, but um, I won't be using on these minifigures as I do really love the Bagel Studios heads on this Ahsoka minifigure or both of these Ahsoka minifigures. Um, but as you can also see, I did replace out the arm, the hands with the orange hands, and I just really like how these look too. Uh, I'm I may touch them up a bit or get the Eclipse graphic hands, as I said, but yeah. And this face, I just realized too, definitely is perfect to go along with this sort of pose when Ahsoka first ignites her lightsabers when she gets them back um, in Season 7. So I just realized that then too, um, but yeah. So anyway, now let's go ahead and wrap up. So thank you guys for watching this video. That was my review on these two Ahsoka minifigures from BagelStudios.com. Link to their website and Instagram will be down below. These minifigures, as I've said during this video, is 
are absolutely incredible. Really glad to have these minifigures. Please go check out his stuff. He does awesome work. I uh, really hope to get my hands on his other Circa minifigures to complete the collection. Again, these minifigures don't come with the lightsabers. Uh, these are what I had purchased separately, like, ages ago from Big Kid Bricks. Link to them also down below. They do other awesome lightsaber pieces as well for other minifigures. Uh, but yeah, so, again, I do want to apologize for the uh, long gap there of no um, content, but I will uh, have a few more videos out for you guys. But again... I, the only reason why I haven't been doing a lot of videos is because I have been focusing a lot of my time on uni. Um, but since I'm starting up the trimester, I do have some time to be able to shoot some quick videos. I'll do a whole update video on um, it within the next coming week or so uh, to go into that a bit more. But yeah, um, thanks again for watching. Um, stay tuned as this will be my next video, uh, my custom logo Mandalorian, my own design and I'll, a showcase for him will be coming. I'm uh, really excited for that one. And then I also have an update video coming as well, which will be going over some minifigures I've been working on and some other planned videos that I'm wanting to do, which I will hopefully record soon. Like I will just spend a day recording videos so that I've got them archived for me to edit and upload in the future. And then, uh, yeah. Um, so again, um, please stay tuned. Go check out Bagel Studios down below. Check out Big Kid Bricks if you want any of these lightsabers. And I give these minifigures 10 out of 10. Absolutely love how they, they work. No problems with them. I do have some stuff I do want to touch up on this minifigure just to take that next step, which, as I said, is that knockoff headpiece, which is accurate to the Season 7 uh, Ahsoka headpiece. I will do a whole video on that when I eventually get those in and probably just update the uh, hands a little bit. But other than that, perfect minifigures definitely go get them if you have the money i highly recommend it can't recommend them enough they do other minifigures as well so go check them out can't praise them enough but you go check out my instagram down below tgun underscore creations i have been posting stuff on there so anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next video which will be next week all right bye